Hi guys, Colin here. I'm super excited because I've just received an envelope in the post, postmark Dallas, North Texas. Now, I'll give you a close-up of this envelope in a minute, but this symbol up in the corner can only mean one thing, so I'm super excited to open this up and uh, let you see what's inside it. This is so exciting! Now, this envelope was from Dragon's Heart Guitar Picks and they've sent me three picks to review and test on this channel. Now, I'll go into the specifics of why these picks are so amazing in a second, but I am really keen to get into seeing how tough these really are, because apparently they're almost indestructible. It's been a few days now that I've been testing out all three of these Dragon Hearts picks in rotation, and I've got to say, so far, I'm very impressed. Now, before I get into the differences between these three picks and why they all sound different, perhaps I should tell you how they're made. They are made from material called polyamide amide, which is extensively used in aerospace applications because it's low weight, uh, very high strength, it's wear resistant, and has a low coefficient of friction. Uh, and that also makes them extremely, extremely good material for making guitar picks out of. So the polyamide amide is so wear resistant that the claim is these picks will do tens of thousands of hours of use on your guitar. That's remarkable. Also, the low coefficient of friction means that they're going to glide across your strings that little bit easier, so you're not going to feel so much resistance and your playing is going to be faster. So you've got a hard-wearing pick that also plays fast. Now, there are three different types of picks using the polyamide amide mix, and that's the three that I have here. They are called Original, Pure and Hardened. The original is polyamide amide mixed with carbon graphite, and many of you will know that carbon graphite is a very slippy material. I'll often use uh, carbon graphite to lube up nuts and saddles on guitars. So mixing in the carbon graphite with the polyamide amides gives an extremely low coefficient of friction, and this pick will glide across your guitar strings and you will play faster. <laughs> Then there's the hardened, which is the polyamide amide mixed with about 30% of glass fibre. This makes this pick the strongest of all of them, uh, very, very wear resistant, and it feels a lot different from the one with the carbon graphite. It feels harder and rougher. Uh, so this one should stand for a lot more abuse than the others, and it also will give you the harshest, brightest tone. <laughs> And lastly, there's the Pure, which is just polyamide amide, 100%, nothing else mixed in. Uh, this one, I think, is possibly my favourite. It's got the warmest tone out of all of them, and it just feels really nice in the hand. Also feature an incredibly interesting design with three usable points. There's the rounded point up here, and that is for strumming. So if you're going for an acoustic guitar or lots of rhythm playing where you strum a lot of chords, that will give you a very fast, even strumming action on that rounded point. Down the bottom of the pick, there is a more conventional guitar pick point. So if you just imagine what your pick that you're using at the moment feels like, uh, that's fairly similar to what it's going to be like on these picks. Uh, just you're going to play a little bit faster and I think a little bit better. Now up in the top corner, there's an extremely interesting sharp point and this is used for very fast lead work. I wouldn't suggest strumming with this point. I found that was fairly difficult. But if you're just doing uh, single string note runs, uh, these are fantastic points for very fast playing, so long as you're holding the pick right, and I'll show you the correct holding pattern now. You want to be holding the pick with the point facing out from the hand, so that the rounded edge is in line with your thumb. Not the other way around, where the point is facing back in towards your hand, that doesn't work so well. You want to be holding it 
this way to utilise that point to its full advantage. Tonally, these guitar picks are going to be quite different from ones we've used previously, and they're all independently different from each other in quite a drastic and shocking way. The Hardened with its glass fibre is definitely the brightest, sharpest and harshest sound of all of them. The Pure is much warmer, thicker and fuller, and the Carbon Graphite Original um, it's possibly the flattest of them all, but it does play the fastest. It's certainly, it's almost like your hands in overdrive. You can't quite keep up with it. It's fantastic for speed picking, but you are losing some of the warmth or some of the brightness that you would get with one of the other two picks. So probably one of the best ways to see the difference in tone between these three guitar picks is to play an acoustic guitar. So I'm going to play the three picks on the guitar and hopefully you'll see the difference in tone. quite thick picks, we're talking maybe about 2.5 millimetres thick, um, but they are highly bevelled edges, so it doesn't feel like you're playing a much thicker pick. So um, if you're not used to thick picks, then maybe you'd find these a little bit awkward, but I would suggest giving them a go. Give a go at thicker picks anyway, I think they improve your technique. Uh, definitely good training picks, but 2.5 mil is perfect for how I play. I much prefer thicker picks, and these are a fantastic thickness. I just dropped one. At the start of this video, I said that these guitar picks should be almost indestructible if they live up to their hype. And I've been playing them for about a week, and there is no wear on any of them, which I think is remarkable. But I don't make statements lightly, and if I said these guitar picks were going to be almost indestructible, then I mean it. So I'm going to take the toughest one, which is the hardened guitar pick, and I'm going to test this to absolute destruction. I'm going to do a separate video torture test on this pick. And I would like you to leave a comment in the comments for this video tell me what sort of things you'd like tested on this pick to see just what it'll stand up to. I'll be comparing it to some other guitar picks that um, are very popular and we'll see how much more punishment this one can take than say your Jazz 3 or some other popular guitar picks. So if you have a suggestion for absolute destruction, please leave it in the comment section below and the best ones and the most practical ones I will see if I can fit into a video on torture testing this hardened Dragon Hearts guitar pick just to show you how tough this thing should be. So that's the Dragon Heart guitar picks. Now are these the be all and end all of guitar picks? Is this the only one you will ever need for the rest of your life? Well, perhaps. Uh, not everyone's cup of tea, I guess. It depends what you're playing and what style of music you want to do. But these are extremely good guitar picks. And I certainly suggest everyone should check them out and at least get one of them into your collection uh, because they are a very useful tool, sound fantastic, and again, very wear resistant and very fast playing. So if you liked these picks, if you liked this review, then please go across to the Dragon Hearts page and order some up for yourself. The link will be in the description box below. And uh, take a look at everything they've got and read up on all the technology that was put into making these picks. They are fantastic, fantastic product. And don't forget to leave a comment regarding the torture test of the hardened Dragon Hearts pick. I want to see what you guys want me to do to this pick in order to test out its resilience uh, against wear. Uh, so leave a comment and let me know. So if you want to see that torture test on these picks and some other videos, then remember to hit the subscribe button uh, so you can see all the content on this and other things. I'm also available on all the social medias. Links are in the description box below uh, so you can catch up with all the little things that don't quite make it to YouTube. Uh, other than that, I guess I'll get away and do some other things now. Keep it loud. <laughs>